Today, I turn my original character into an art doll, which is a sort of physical piece that's made out of fur and clay mainly. Before I begin, I'd like to say that Finn, the OC featured in this video, was designed by Dash Finicky Dash on Scratch, who will be linked in the description and in the iCard if I can remember. I'd also like to say that I didn't really film this because I don't really know how to film and my process isn't really streamlined enough where I'd be comfortable filming, so you'll just have to look at the pictures and then a few videos at the end. Here is a preview of the materials I used. I will list them in the description. Basically all of them you can get from a local craft store um, and the fabrics from any fabric store. They can be quite expensive if you're going to make one for the first time, but I've already made one before, some stuff before, so I had a lot of the materials. To start off with, I sculpted the head and the paws. The type of clay I'm using is called DOS and it's air dry clay. It's really good, it dries a lot like oven lake clay, and it's pretty cheap so I'd highly recommend it. First I made a small tinfoil ball for the head, and then slowly sculpted out the features. I used cabochons for the eyes that I painted on the backs of. The paws were just balls of clay that I cut into, and I made sure to provide holes so I could stick the armature in it. Then I made the armature. I mainly used 12 gauge wire with some 20 gauge, I think, to help tie it all together. I forgot to take a picture, but I attached the head and paws by cutting into the tin foil on the back of the head and just hot gluing the head and paws to it. For this project, I decided to make a pattern. I've made art dolls before, but I've never really made a pattern. I always just kind of cut as I went. But it was really helpful for this, and I highly recommend it if you do one of these. It came out a lot better than it could have if I hadn't. I sewed the belly to the sides and the front and backs of the legs together. Then I started assembling the whole thing. First, I pinned the fabric to the frame to make sure it fit right, and pseudo-stuffed it to see about how thick it would be. I wish I'd made his torso and belly a little smaller because now he's a little pudgy, but it turned out alright. Then I began to stuff it. I wrapped the stuffing around the legs before sewing them on to make sure I got the thickness right. The body I just stuffed as I sewed. Then I attached the front legs, gluing the fabric to the paws. For the body, I used this kind of um, short furred fabric, which was really easy to sew and cut. But for the neck and tail, I used a much fluffier, thicker fabric that was more canvasy and faux fur. I decided to make patterns for these later on since they're more complicated shapes and harder to sew and cut. It looked kind of funny when I first sewed them on because of how long the fur is, but then I trimmed them down to be more of the right shape. Then I made the accessories, his butterfly wings and his ears. I'll attach these later. For the wings, I used a sort of sparkly paper that I got from a craft store that was kind of hard to cut. When I painted the face, I was a little worried about getting the colors right, but with a cheap set of acrylics, I was able to do just fine and pretty closely match the colors to this reference photo. After the face and paws were done, I decided to paint the body. I was nervous because I'd never really painted like this before and this fabric, this fur fabric on the body was new. To preserve the texture of the fabric, I watered down acrylic. I spread it over the body with a large brush, then rubbed it in with rubbing alcohol to make sure it was deep and thorough. Then I painted the darker areas of spots in his legs. All these turned out a bit crunchier, the overall fur texture was surprisingly smooth. All that was left for me was to finish painting the paws and attach the accessories and I was done. Thanks for watching! I had a lot of fun making this. If this inspired you to make your own, I'd recommend checking out Bubbly Leaf and KP Creations. Both of them are super talented and I'll link their channels below. I'll see you next time. Bye!